हेलो एवरी वन ग्रीडिंग्स फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस इज निर्भय चौहान फ्रॉम मेक लव सेल्फ लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स विल गाइस टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वील बी लर्निंग हाउ यू कैन बेसिकली क्रिएट सच कोरोगेटेड रूफ शीट प्रोफाइल्स इन साइड फ्री कैड राइट सो इट इज मच ईजियर टू मॉडल दिस इट्स नॉट एज डिफिकल्ट एज बेसिकली इट 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 लुक्स फ्रॉम द प्रोफाइल and we'll be also seeing how you can have different other profiles as well like trapezoidal spikes or these curves one right so let's just quickly jump so i'll just open the file which doesn't have that modeled right so if in case you guys are wondering what exactly is this layered wall so for that basically we have covered in one of the tutorial how to basically create composite or multi layer or multi material wall inside freecad if in case guys you haven't watched that you can watch that the link is there in the description of the video also and there in the above banner of this video so you can just try that it's very helpful so now guys quickly jumping on to a tutorial we basically want to model uh, that corrugated sheet profile for the roof right so just like you could create your roof object uh, sorry or the slab or the floor objects like very similar to that so i'll just click simply select on this profile and say add working plane for top surface of this wall so now my grid is basically shifted to the top right so using this surface i'll create a sketcher a sketcher object right i'll just quickly draw a rectangular profile like this my walls are anyways central constraint with the axes so i'll just make the edges of the sketch as well with the equity constraint similarly these edges with the x axis right now basically i'll refer an external geometry for this wall edge and just give some corner dimensions like this one is let's say 2 feet similarly in the vertical direction this also becomes 2 feet and we have a sketch fully constraint we'll escape it now using this profile if you remember earlier we used to basically create the floors and slabs using this object right so what we will do we have this panel object inside freecad you can just run it through by clicking pa or hitting on this so you can also go to 3d bim and you have this panel object you can click on it if in case you don't have any initial geometry you can just give the dimensions here right thickness and everything and just you can place it like this right or you can also create it using the sketch geometry or the rectangular geometry or any face if in case you already have face extrusion in your free cat so you can use it that as well so for our case we already have the sketch we'll click on this and then i'll hit the panel option you can see our panel is basically created right and there are a lot of properties inside this what we can do firstly is we will quickly convert this panel object to roof you can do this later also but i'm just doing it for now because just to keep the coloration standards because i have standard colors applied in my preferences right so now what we'll see is inside this roof we have this panel object i'll switch to front view here you can see lot of properties inside the panel section of this panel object right uh firstly you can see number of sheets if i just make it four you will see the applications right so that's something we're not interested at the moment thickness is basically is basically thickness of this sheet you can see like this let's say we are giving thickness of around 1 inches right wave bottom i'll be just coming wave direction also i'll be discussing so wave height let's say this is um 1 inches wave offset i'll be just coming wave type let's say currently we're going with the curved then we have trapezoidal and we have spikes i'm going with the curved one right and then the wave height basically sorry wave length was 6 inches let's say the wave height is 1 inches and you can see this is how your 
flat profile with corrugated curved top profile is basically quickly model without any taking care of additional sketches or profiles and this is totally parametric. Now just quickly see additional parameters that we have here. Firstly we have the wave bottom. If we make it true you will see you will have the wave profile in the bottom uh, face as well. Right? So this is something really nice as we have shown in the initial model. Right? This is one thing. Then guys basically you have is a wave offset. This is from the starting like this edge. Let's say I make it as 2 inches. So accordingly my wave would start. Right? So it's up to you how you basically want to have it. I'll just make it 0 because it's not bothering me much. So I'm fine with this one. Um, then what we else we have is the wave direction. So right now if you see it is 0 degree that means my waves are going as per my original profile. If in case I want it to run with some other direction I'll just simply let's say for example let me give it 30 degrees. And you will see the waves are running in that particular direction. Right? Let me just make it 90 for our case. Right? Because we want them to be with this face. Right guys? Uh, then what we can see the offset we have seen. Uh, let's just see the wave type. Right? This width and this length these are those properties if in case if I shown you earlier if in case you were modeling your panel from very scratch without any profile right so right now these are zero it doesn't bother us let me switch to trapezoidal and now you will see this kind of profile basically right and if in case I make wave bottom as false then my f bottom profile would be flat and I will have the spikes or the corrugations above like this. Looks exciting, right guys? Another example which we have here was for the spikes, the last one. So this is like this, right? If in case wave bottom is true, it should become basically, I think in this case we don't have that kind of margin, right? So let's go with the curve prof curve profile and let me make the wave bottom as false because we want it flat to be more in better shape. Uh, here this offset is bothering us. Let me just give it around 1 inches. Let's just say this is Mm. it'll be 6 inches let's see how it goes yeah this is fine so it's floating downwards and here also it's floating downwards right uh, now just quickly do some experimentations let's say wave height or let's say thickness so this, this thickness is basically this particular thickness right so if you just increase it to 2 inches you will see your waves won't be bothered but your overall thickness of this slab or the panel would increase right you can see it's increased now let me just make it one inches only uh, okay what we can do another thing here is the wave height let me just make it two inches just for example sake so this is like this right so I think one inches was good for our case wavelength let it be 8 inches and let's see how it goes it will come more flatter like this right now the offset is bothering let it be 4 inches uh, or let it be 2 yeah now it's fine uh, maybe 3 yeah so this is how you have got your profile uh, right now what we can do as a last step is this is basically intersecting with your walls let me just switch to this particular face and we'll simply move a roof object slightly upwards right you can do it from the placement as well 
right from here or we can just move it click on the roof object click on move right this is a point which we want to basically keep with the so we'll go it upwards hold shift key right and then this edge constraint is on I'll just try to find some edge here which is this one yeah and now my corrugated panel is fully aligned at the top of my walls right so this is guys how you can basically create corrugated roof profiles inside FreeCAD using panels tool which is extremely helpful I would really recommend all of you guys to basically try that on your own right and just see how it basically functions this is something really powerful and really helpful right so I think guys this was it in today's tutorial if in case you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel like the video let me know with your comments how you like this video and what you would like to basically learn in the future what are your suggestions in regards to that right there's a coffee link also in in case you would like to consider that uh, share this with your friends and colleagues so that they also find this helpful so guys see you in some other video till then take care goodbye and thank you so much